and on this video we're going to be going over the state of the 2021 Detroit Tigers. Let's get into it. What's going on baseball fans? Jeremy Laterquente here for the Baseball Banter Broadcast on the Laterquente Ledger Network. And as I said in the open, today we're going to be discussing the state of the 2021 Detroit Tigers. But before we get into it, make sure if you haven't already done so, you smash that subscribe button down below as it does a huge service for us here at the Laterquente Ledger Network in progressing up the YouTube algorithm. So, let's get into it. Now, let's begin with some of the offseason moves that the Tigers made, most notably the signing of Wilson Ramos. Ramos is going to be a veteran catcher who's going to kind of help facilitate some of their younger catchers' growth this season in 2021. Now, it's not for certain that Wilson Ramos will lock down the starting job, but he's very likely the odds-on favorite to do so. On top of having a catcher, a veteran catcher, who can kind of help mentor some of their younger catchers growing in the system, he's also becomes a trade asset at the deadline because the Tigers are not likely to compete for the postseason spot this year, but more on the state of the franchise later. Ramos is a very good offensive catcher who's been above league average for the majority of his career. So going into the 2021 campaign, this is going to be another opportunity for Ramos to establish some value and potentially spin it off into a multi-year your deal following this season. Another move that was made by the Tigers was the re-signing of Jonathan Scope. Now, Scope is an interesting player because, to me, he's one of the most underrated second basemen in, in the game today. He's got a very good defender at the position, as well as being able to produce some power from that spot. Now, yes, he's not going to be quite the same player that he was associated with back in his Baltimore days like Manny Machado, but he's still going to be a very valuable asset to have. On top of that, when you look at what this move does for the Tigers itself, it reestablishes and offers them another trade asset at the deadline. Speaking of another asset, No More Mazar was also signed and picked up by the Detroit Tigers. When you look at what Mazar was, he was a highly touted prospect at one point for the Texas Rangers. However, at this point, injuries and kind of ineffectiveness have moved that slightly off track. But when you look at what he can be, this is a guy who can solidly bat in the middle to lower half of the lineup, provide stability, and also a different look from a very right-handed lineup. The Tigers are hoping to be able to catch lightning in a bottle when it comes to Nomar Mazar and that he can refine that form that once had him as the highly touted prospect that he was coming out of the Rangers system. So now let's jump into the state of the rotation for the Tigers. When you look at what this Tigers rotation is going to be, it has the makings of being a very underrated pitching staff, in my opinion. Four starters are, without question, in my opinion, valuable in name. However, how they pitch is going to be determined based upon their health. The biggest thing for the Detroit Tigers is the fact that they have to remain healthy. The starting rotation is likely going to include Casey Mize, Daniel Norris, Matthew Boyd, and Michael Fulmer. However, that f how that fifth spot plays out is something we'll have to see how spring training goes. But to me, the biggest key for the Tigers is the health of their starting rotation. To me, this is their strongest asset going into the 2021 campaign. Now, as we get into the state of the bullpen here for the Tigers, when you look at what this bullpen is featuring, there aren't many notable names. Outside of maybe Joe Jimenez, there's not really names outside of Tigers fans that they're going to really know. When you look at what this bullpen is going to be, to me, this is the weakest spot on the roster for the 2021 Detroit Tigers. If the Tigers are going to have any semblance of success, it's going to be required that this bullpen locks down any potential victories that they have in tow. This will be a growing year for the Tigers bullpen as some of the young arms that they have in camp will find their way onto this roster and potentially open some eyes for the organization as they move into the 2022 season and beyond. Now, let's jump into the state of the offense for the Tigers. When you look at what this offense is featuring, there aren't many notable names. Obviously, Miguel Cabrera is a first ballot Hall of Famer, but he's no longer the threat at the plate that he once was. You're also looking at guys like Jonathan Scope and Norman Mazar, who are going to be solid middle tier bats, but nobody that's going to really pose a serious, fearful threat in the 2021 campaign. Now, you have bright spots to look forward to. Willie Castro, Spencer Trokelson, if you're a Tigers fan for the future. However, in 2021, those names really aren't going to enlist fear in opposing pitchers. So when it comes to the offense of the Detroit Tigers, it's more so about seeing what you can get from your young stars that are going to be impact players in the future and seeing how much further Miguel Cabrera progresses his Hall of Fame career. Now, as we jump into the state of the franchise for the Tigers, it's going to be a struggle this year. There's no doubt about it. They are going to be competing for the final spot in the 
American League Central Division, and likely going to be competing for one of the worst records in the major leagues in 2021. This is going to be a year of growth and opportunity for the Tigers and their players. But I want to hear from you guys. Let me know your thoughts on the state of the Detroit Tigers down in the comment section below, and we will discuss it further. As always, if you haven't already done so, make sure you smash that like, subscribe, and build so that you're notified each and every time we drop new content here on the La Quinta Ledger Network. There's a ton of things coming in 2021 and beyond, so make sure that you keep it locked in by hitting that subscribe and the bell to stay notified. As always, to get the full La Quinta Ledger Network picture, make sure you head over to patreon.com, search for the La Quinta Ledger Network, and join us there as your support allows us to continue bringing this content each and every single week. And if you haven't already done so, make sure you check out our sister channel, WeSibs, as they have a ton of amazing content over there as well. Links to their channel will be down in the show notes below. So I will catch you guys on the latest news, notes, or my personal thoughts, theories, and opinions have to be dropped about the game of Major League Baseball. Peace.